everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm back on site today, but seven hours late. I had some car issues that were sort of building to the point where they couldn't be ignored anymore. I had to take care of that this morning and into the early afternoon. But I'm back on site, and there is some stuff that I can get done while I'm here. If you recall yesterday, I was out in front of the toasty fire, uh, prepping materials for the shelving in the pantry area. And that's what you're seeing here in front of you right now. I, I uh, created these verticals and got holes drilled in the side, created these horizontals, and uh, they're, all, they're all stacked and nicely ready to go, like a stack of Legos for me. Uh, when I got here, this is the first one that I've got in here. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna have one here, I'm gonna have one on the other end, and the shelves are gonna you know, just kinda surf across here. And between the two, I think I've got, I think there's five in total, so there are going to be three in the middle. Um, and, uh, if I were to just take the shelves and kind of screw them to here and have you know them all laid out like that, the whole thing could just kind of tip over like a house of cards. Now you could solve that by having maybe the two on the ends on either side, have some cross bracing between them, but what I'm going to be doing is just attaching them right to the wall because then you know not only are they prevented from wiggling this way, but it'll also keep it from falling over. Uh, I've already done one attachment point in the middle, one down at the bottom, and I'm going to be doing one at the top. Can I borrow the spool over? Uh, I'm using Tapcon screws, which are a special kind of screw that goes into uh, concrete. These guys here, I think these are like, you know, like three inches and change or so. And what I've done is I've pre-drilled uh, pre a hole in the wood, and I'm going to be using this uh, impact, I think it's an impact drill or whatever, I'm borrowing it from my dad, uh, to drill into the concrete so that I can put the screw in. You don't just put the screw directly in the concrete, you have to drill a hole out that's of the proper size and then put the screw in. And proper size is the reason that I have this really long uh, bit here. Not because I need that much reach, I only have to drill into the concrete a little ways, but I just happen to know that this is the correct size for the uh, screws that I'm using because it's the same kind of screws we used on the outside. And I remember we used this bit with the duct tape on here. He has shorter ones in there, uh, but I, I know this is the right diameter, so I'm gonna use this one. But you don't need it so long. Uh, I could be using safety glasses, I could be using a respirator, but um, safety glasses I'm not really that worried about because it's, it's kind of hidden behind wood when I'm drilling out. And the respirator, I'm only doing a couple of holes, uh, and the, dr the dust is mostly falling down again because of the wood's protecting. That's not safety advice, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Alright, so here we go. I suppose I could have put my own duct tape, you know, hearing protection is not a bad idea either. I, I could have put my own mark as to how deep is the, a good depth, but I didn't do that, and uh, I think what I did is enough. So I'm using this to drive the screw in now. Hard at the top because you can't really put a lot of weight into it. Maybe if I push against the thing here, or back it out a little. Okay, backing it out and then I'll fly it in. Well, that's not the best connection. Uh, I might wrestle with that a little bit here and there, but uh, you get the idea. I'm attaching them to the wall, and uh, as you can see, there's going to be a lot of storage in here. There's going to be shelving on this side and a shelf half as uh, deep on this side. That's it. Thanks for watching.